Good afternoon and thank you to all of you who are joining us here today for the World Halal Business Conference 2021 hosted by the Ministry of International Trade and Industry and organized by the Halal Development Corporation of Malaysia. My name is So, Christina. without further ado, on behalf of the Halal Development Corporation of Malaysia, please join me to welcome our esteemed panelists. Firstly, please welcome Tengku Dani Nasaifuddin Muzaffa, Chief Executive Officer of MicroLeap, an Islamic and conventional peer-to-peer -peer microfinancing platform. A former banker, Tengku Dani has worked in senior positions in London and Kuala Lumpur at both Standard Chartered and BNP Paribas in diverse fields from asset liability management and money market sales to financial institutions coverage. Prior to founding MicroLeap, Tengku Dani had 15 years of financial services experience. MicroLeap is a Malaysian fintech company that helps underserved businesses access crowdsourced um, funds. Tengku uh, fintech players can do is, is provide either an alternative um, and also uh, and partnerships with, with, with banks. I mean, the, the, the whole point of fintech and Islamic fintech is that we can reach out to areas that most banks can't because we don't have a big, a big branch model. We don't have big branches up and down the country. Uh, our branch is basically your smartphone, you know? Uh, and with Malaysia's, you know, smartphone penetration rates at 78% in, in 2018, according to um, the Multimedia Commission, um, you know, the reach is there. So digital financial services or, or, or even better Islamic digital financial services is there at our fingertips. Um, and we are, as Islamic FinTech player, we are able to reach out um, to these kind of rural areas, um, places that, you know, you can't get a branch out there. You, you, you don't, it's maybe hard, hard, hard to get to. We are only limited by bandwidth and um, internet penetration and, and, and use, use of smartphones. So that is how we scale up very, very quickly. Um, by, by, by doing that. Um, so, and, 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 and always for, I mean, in my, in my industry, the alternative financing space, uh, will always be an alternative financing um, uh, product, you know? Uh, in, in UK and US, uh, alternative finance is 20% is of the total financing landscape. Uh, in Malaysia, it's only about three to 5% um, of, of, of the landscape. So there's a lot of growth there for, uh, Islamic fintech and, and fintech players. Um, but uh, I always think that we should work hand in hand, hand with banks rather than try to compete, compete with banks. Okay, going straight into our discussion, we know that the concept of halal goods and services have steadily gained traction and interest, be it local and internationally. In this day and age, technology and innovation impacts the halal markets by offering opportunities, easy access, better user experience, online learning, many more. All right, from Joe Settle, we are leaping to MicroLeap. Okay, Matthew Noel Fernandez, he's the partner and CEO of Micro. Matthew, how does MicroLeap help the halal micro SMEs and SMEs? Tell us. Yes. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Hi. Uh, Yes, you know, I'm actually likewise with all the other panelists. We're very excited to be not just part, uh, partnering up with HTC, but to be part of HIP. And uh, just to introduce a little bit of uh, our background, uh, most of us in our team are made up of uh, bankers and everyone in between. And we are proudly a Malaysian fintech company that focuses on the microfinance sector uh, and moving into the Islamic SME space. And we're the first P2P operator, which is peer to peer financing regulated by Securities Corporation Malaysia that offers Islamic and conventional financing on the same platform. Uh, basically how it works is P2P financing is an alternative financing tools that allow the MSMEs to obtain financing from investors, which makes it uh, anyone between you, me, our corporate investors, as uh, institutional investors like the Ministry of Finance, et cetera, without having to go through a financial institution. Therefore, we are both